So tomorrow is entering the panza. Turn my this way for up. <coughs> So, tomorrow is entering of the rains retreat and let's this year, you know, decide every monk for himself. If he, if he follows the tutang of only eating the food that he receives in his arms bowl, yeah. But, you know, I mean, you start from tomorrow on and then uh, until the day, you know, the, the panza ends. But I'll leave it up to you this year no, to see how it works out. But if you take on the Tudong, you, you have to finish it through the Pansa. Yeah? <clears throat> and only can give it up at the end of Pansa. The same, same thing for, for every other determination, what you want to do. Yeah? Not lying down for sleep, yeah? all things like that any kind of tudanga that you want to take on. Or even, even doing the panza, not smoking, or things like that. Also, one of you should learn the recitation of the Pavarana. Yeah. You cannot expect that and Richard, you know, to do that. So one of you has to learn it, yeah. In three months, you know, recitation. It's not. It's not too long. <clears throat> so I mean, discuss it together. Who's going to do it? Yeah. And I want to see some more effort in your practice, yeah? Especially the effort in sati, yeah? Developing sati, knowing what is going on, knowing what you do, why you're doing, and what kind of results it has, yeah? Not just, you know, stumbling through the world, you know, blindfolded, you know, running against this, running against that, assuming this and assuming that, yeah? That's not the kind of practice that I, that I want to see, yeah? I really want to see, you know, some effort in your sati, yeah? being aware of what is going on, yeah? not, not walking, you know, like, like dead people or like zombies through this world, yeah. <clears throat> what do you think, you know, I mean, who lives your life, yeah? I mean, your life is lived, you know, but you're not living it, yeah. You just learn something, you know, and then, you know, put the program on autopilot and then it works, huh? The CEO, you know, of your body is sleeping, yeah? The CEO of the chitta, yeah? Is constantly sleeping, yeah? That's, that's not the point of our practice, yeah? Our, the point of our practice is waking up the CEO, yeah? He just signs everything that the kilesas tell him to do, yeah? I want this, I don't want this, I, I like this, I don't like this, yeah? That's... We didn't become monks to, to be like this, yeah? Wake up, yeah? I mean, that is also the epitaph of, of the Lord Buddha. 
wake up, open your eyes, yeah? see for yourself, wake up. Yeah? The Lord Buddha was called the awakened one, yeah? not the sleeping one. Yeah? <clears throat> but when I look at you, know, I have the feeling I mean, you're, you're fast asleep, or the CEO is fast asleep. Yeah? I mean, the body is moving according to its programs, but there's nobody responsible for it. Yes, there is one responsible, but he's falling asleep, you know, and just signing off, yeah, whatever the Kilesas tell him, yeah. I don't like this, I don't like that, you know, I mean, I would like this, you know, this doesn't taste nice, that doesn't taste nice, yeah. That, that is not the way of practice, yeah. Develop samadhi, yeah, and with developing samadhi, train sati, yeah, knowing, yeah, I mean, sati is knowing, knowing that the breath goes in, knowing that the breath goes out, knowing, hmm? and we concentrate at the tip of the nose, knowing that the breath is shallow, knowing that the breath is deep. Hmm? That is the training of sati. Yeah? We follow the tracks of the ox. The tracks of the ox is our concentration on the breath, huh? And knowing how the breath is, is following the tracks of the ox, you know, until we come to this knowingness, yeah? And that is sati. Huh? We know what is going on in our heart. We know that there is a thought coming in. We know that there is an intention for thinking something. Hmm? And we know that the, the thought is forming. I mean, that is the sati I am talking about. That is the sati, you know, of Satipatthana Sutta, yeah? I mean, you all heard it. Yeah? There's also the great Satipatthana Sutta. Yeah? Sati is the key. Without sati, I mean, you're just hopelessly pray to the kilesa, yeah? Pray to a vicha. Without sati, without knowing what you're doing, why you're doing it and what kind of results it is. It's like you're fast asleep. Yeah? But you are responsible for whatever is happening, for whatever, you know, the kilesas are doing. Yeah? The kilesas are, yeah, I mean, in, in the terms of our law, you know, I'm of minor age, you know, and the parents, yeah? the parents are responsible for what their children are doing. Yeah? So you are responsible for what your children are doing, and that are the kilesas. So, take on this responsibility of your life. Huh? Don't let it be lived by the Kilesas, you know, but live it. Yeah? Live it by waking up. Yeah? I mean, what is going on? What the hell am I doing? Why am I stretching out my arm? Why am I walking in this direction? Yeah? That's how you should train. Yeah? <clears throat> now, I mean, you just walk blindlessly. Doing this, doing that. Huh? Learn to samadhi. You know, I mean, we also need this rest of samadhi. We also need this, this upachara samadhi. Yeah? I mean, to rest our chitta. Huh? To know that there is nobody there. Yeah? I mean, because that is what is happening in upachara samadhi. Yeah? Upachara samadhi, entering upachara samadhi or extra samadhi is... Yeah? When thoughts disappear, when thoughts disappear, you know, the eye disappears and there's nobody there anymore. Yeah? There you realize that everything is anatta. Yeah? There's just experience. Yeah? There's hearing, yeah? there's feeling, and there's knowing that, that, there, that there are thoughts or something else coming in, or memories. Yeah? But that's it. There's nobody who is responsible, and there's nobody judging it. Yeah? There's nobody judging it. This is a nice thought. This is a bad thought. This is a nice memory. This is a bad memory. This is a nice feeling. Or the sound is strange, or the sound is annoying. There's nobody there. This is, this is Upachara Samadhi. That's where we can rest. That's where we can take a break from the ongoing onslaught of the Kilesas. Yeah? So why? Why are you? Yeah? 
I mean, it is so important for us, especially as monks, it is so important for us to get to this resting place. Hmm? What still, you know, after all these years, what still hinders you to get to this place? Yeah? Are you still brought up in your thoughts? You still love these games, you know, that the, the Kilesas play with your thoughts and memories? Oh yeah, oh, yesterday was nice, I mean, two weeks or night, or... Oh. Or last year or, or two years ago, yeah? I mean, I had so much good samadhi, you know, but where is it gone? It is the adit, it is the past, yeah? I mean, we cannot recall the past. We can only live in the present moment, yeah? I mean, I am amazed about your effort. You really, you know, to, to put to put some effort into your samadhi that you get, yeah? There's also contentment, yeah? When we go into samadhi, there's contentment. There's peacefulness, there's happiness, yeah? That's what we need, yeah, when we want to live this life, yeah? And we need the sati that is developed through this kind of practice. Because sati and panya and wisdom is then the only weapon that we have against to root out these kilesas. Yeah? For the moment, when we are in Upatra Samadhi, the kilesas are suppressed. That's why we feel at home. That's why we feel safe. Because nobody, nobody is coming and bother us. Yeah? It's like, you know, you are in your kuti and you know, nobody, or you're far away from others, nobody comes and bothers you. Yeah? You feel you feel secure, you feel safe, yeah? you feel at peace. Yeah? If there are constantly some people, you know, coming, asking you to see this or to know this or to want this or to, to do that, yeah? Just like the Kilesas, 24 hours, how can you bear that? Huh? How can you bear this? Yeah? A constantly onslaught of the Kilesas. Constantly, you know, knocking on your door and say, I want this, I don't, uh, I'm not satisfied with this, I'm not satisfied with that. Huh? How, how can you bear this, you know, all day long, 24 hours a day? Yeah? In the sleep they come with these stupid dreams, yeah, where they say, ah, oh, yeah. Huh? I mean, train, you know, I mean, really put your determination on. I'm just sticking with the puto, I'm sticking with the breath. And I know everything about the breath, and I know everything about the puto. Yeah? Please. It is your own. You don't do the practice for me, yeah? You don't ordain for me or for anything else. You ordain for yourself, yeah? You want to ordain to get free? So, that's what you have to do. You have to develop the sati, you have to develop this mindful, mindfulness, you have to develop the concentration on the Buddha or on the breath, and you have to develop the sati, this awareness, yeah? What is going on, yeah? And then use this awareness during the day. Knowing what is going on, what am I doing, why am I doing, what kind of results has my doing. Yeah? I mean, what is going on with your reflection? I mean, that is the reflection in the evening or in, in, the, in the early afternoon. What is happening to it? Yeah? I mean, you don't seem to get any wiser from that. Huh? What am I doing? Oh, I'm sleeping, fast asleep. Yeah? Letting my life being lived by the Kalesas and not living my life, yeah? I mean, but you are responsible for it. As I said, yeah? The Kalesas are minors and you are the parents of the Kalesas, yeah? So you have to, you are held responsible in front of the law, yeah? Remember this. Stick with the Buddha, or stick with the breath, you know, I always trust, you know, the determination and our effort goes, you know, to return back. Whenever the mind goes out, you know, don't worry, you know, I just went out, you know, then bring it back, yeah. Bring it back, and then bring it back, and then bring it back until it stays, yeah. How often have you thought this thought, yeah? How often have you had this memory, yeah? I mean, why again, yeah? Why a thousand times? Why ten thousand times? What does it give you, this memory? What does it give you, this thought? Yeah? 
I really don't understand. Get into Samadhi. Get into Upacara Samadhi because that is the safe house. Yeah? Then develop the Sati, you know, why? Can, can you press record again? Just record. Record. The red button. The red button. Yeah, okay. <coughs> To develop the samadhi, yeah? Con- being concentrated on the Buddha, knowing if the Buddha is fast, if the Buddha is slow, if the Buddha is steep, if the Buddha is shallow, yeah? And listen. Once the Buddha is installed, then listen to the Buddha, yeah? Be just interested in this one thing. Or in the breath, you know, be interested in the breath. Is it, is, you know, it is accelerating, decelerating, is it turning from in-breath to out-breath or whatever? No, you you like these thoughts, yeah? I mean, you can dream for the rest of your life and nothing will change. Once we develop the sati, we're going into investigation, yeah? Investigation at the beginning is, is you know, just reflecting about our life, looking from birth, you know, to end, to, to death, yeah? Looking at the people around us, you know, the younger people, the older people, the sick people, yeah? And looking at our life, yeah? Looking when we learn to walk, looking when we learn to talk, looking when we were in school, yeah? And pulling out all the memories, not only the good memories, but also the bad memories. Bring up a lot of bad memories, yeah? So that you get fed up with this life, yeah? Because there's, once you look really, you know, then there's so much to come. There's so much Tukka, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, you went to school, you know, there's Tukka. You, you learn to walk, there's Tukka. You learn to talk, there's Tukka, yeah? And then you learn to, you know, you went to the university or you went to high school, you know, there's Tukka, yeah? And then you went to work, there's Tukka, yeah? You had a relationship that was full of Tukka, yeah? Yeah, you want only to remember the nice things, yeah? That's not going to work out this way, yeah? I mean, train, train your memory to be accurate, yeah? And see all, all the moments around it, yeah? I mean, if you have a nice, if you have, if, if there's a nice memory coming into your, <coughs> if you have a nice memory, if something is coming into, you know, and it, it seems to be, you know, I mean, the, you were very happy, you know, then look around and you will see all of this dukkha come lying around, before, after, and, and even while. Yeah? I mean, you train, train your memory to be accurate, you know, to see. Yeah? And that helps, you know, that helps spur us, you know, in our practice. We need some, we need some energy, we need some determination to get down to the practice, you know, to, to, to fight the kilesas. It, it, it won't be easy, yeah? So we need some determination. Why? Yeah? And this is how you get it, you know. You look how, how much dukkha there was in your life, yeah? That, is, that would be one thing, yeah? Or you look at the, the principle of anatta, yeah? Or you look at the principle of anicca, whatever suits you best, yeah? That everything that you did, you know, all disappeared. Hmm? Yeah, they don't like to hear that. <clears throat> Everything disappears, all the feelings, you know, all these nice feelings already all disappeared, yeah? All these unhappy feelings all already disappeared, yeah? All these thoughts, all why why you bring it up back up, yeah? I mean put some effort, yeah, really. And then start to do you know, once once you go through your life, you know, then start to do with the body investigation. Start with the outside. With the hair of the head, you know, with the teeth, yeah? And so on. And once you did that, you know, go inside. Yeah? Use, yeah? Use your sati. Sati has to observe the object that you're going to investigate. That's why we need to develop it, huh? Understood? I'm tired today, so I mean, leave it, like, leave it at this, yeah? And now get back to your practice, yeah? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat>
Ne, 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 Tomorrow there will be plenty of food, you know, but you know, during the day, I mean, during the week, yeah, I mean, it will, <coughs> the interest of the people will disappear very quickly, yeah, and it comes back, you know, to normal, you know, you just get rice, you know, and you, may, you might get, you know, just a little piece of food, yeah, if you're lucky, you get a fish, yeah, but uh, mostly, you know, there's only one fish, and I normally put it in my bowl, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> So, oh. it is a it, it is a very valuable training, yeah? I mean, you don't have to do it, but if you do it, you're doing the panza, yeah? I mean, don't stop. Mm. Mm.